Good morning and welcome to the channel. It's early December 2019 here in Southampton in the UK. First and foremost, I'd like to thank everybody for subscribing to the channel and please continue to do so. But particularly in the last couple of weeks, I got an email from YouTube to say that I had reached a thousand subscribers and that's fantastic. I've loved the communication between viewers and myself and thanks ever so much for honoring me with, with watching the channel. Hopefully I can keep it interesting for you over the time. The video today is about a treatment I had this week on the R1250 GS BMW using the franchise operation that is all year biker and there's a description of there or a, a link to their website down in the description and I use the local franchisee to me here in Southampton a guy called Adam Clementson who's a firefighter by trade but um, in his extra time and to earn more money for himself and his family he does the ACF 50 and XCP treatments on motorcycles and in fact he's a motorcycle himself too with a uh, Triumph Speed Triple so all of that is good in itself do I recommend them um, after seeing Adam do the treatment I highly recommend Adam and I think having looked through a number of the reviews on the all year biker website I can certainly almost certainly recommend what they do entirely. The overall cost of treatment, let me say first and foremost as well, I've booked this as a normal customer. I've not been paid for this video in any way, shape or form. I've paid Adam for it and I'm delighted to pay Adam for it. And it's in no way really a promotional video, but I learned of uh, Adam particularly, an all year biker uh, generally, as I went to Loomis Cafe about a year ago. Loomis is a cafe near us pretty famous I think actually and always a lot of bikers there on good biking days and down here in Hampshire and I came across a, a BMW R1250 Adventure which looked brand new and I said to the guy oh new bike and then the registration gave away that it actually wasn't a new bike and he'd been to Adam the day before and had his bike done but I think we should point out that the main reason that they exist as all year biker is more about the treatments that they offer to help your bike stay certainly clean and just by being clean probably more operative throughout the the sort of well we'd say harsh UK winter I think most people in harsher countries than this would argue but we certainly get a lot of salt on the roads which is very very bad as we know for any kind of metal um, whether that be exposed or treated it can cause all sorts of, uh, of angst. They offer two treatments. One is an ACF 50 treatment, and many of you will be familiar with ACF 50. It was built for the aircraft industry and is used extensively in the aircraft industry. It's a gloopy type of consistency, but uh, certainly from Adam's perspective, as we'll see in the video, he doesn't need to heat it in any way. But the other treatment is an XCP treatment. XCP is more like a light grease, which very much to go through a spray gun does need to be heated in the weather we certainly have had this week which has been on or around freezing to be applied to the bike and the main difference Adam tells me between the two is ACF 50 is very much about protecting the bike from the occasional use that you may use as a as a biker through the winter so you know I will take my bike out on a on a on a dry day in the winter not on a wet day in the winter however with salt on the roads as we all know it will make the surface bring moisture out salt brings moisture out of whatever surface you surface you apply it to so no matter if it's a dry day you'll go down roads that aren't particularly sunny and you will uh, they will appear to be at least damp and that means that when you get back you need to hose your bike off with just plain water normally but the ACF 50 helps all of that process to not absorb any salt and holds it off the main surface of the metal so pretty well you're guaranteed if you're a motorcyclist like me using it occasionally during the winter or even just for storage in damp conditions that your bike isn't going to deteriorate with that coating on. The other thing that ACF 50 offers is it does offer the the cleaning and, and brightening of all of the materials that it's on. So if you've got black plastic panels, as with the side panels on the GS, or if you've got uh, dull grey panels like the side tank panels on the GS, then very much it'll brighten those up. So um, let's have a look at, at the processes that Adam does with the bike. I will run through the processes but I'm not going to sort of give you all of the tricks of the trade because as I say this is very much about saying 
how all year round biker treat the bike, how the ACF treatment goes on. And it's very much about hopefully as well, being able to get them some additional business. The treatment, if I've not already said it, was 70 pounds for the ACF treatment. So that includes the cleaning. Everything you see in the video today was 70 pounds. And I think if you have the XCP treatment, which is more about if you're using the bike for your, for your living, you're commuting on the bike home and back, you're maybe riding the bike all day, couriers, those types of, of motorcyclists, or you are just a, a hardened tourer using your bike all, all year round, then again, Adam would recommend the XCP treatment. It's, it's probably a better corrosion protection treatment, but as Adam says, it is more expensive, it's more difficult to apply, and it doesn't give the bike that sparkling, sort of finish to it when it's finished a little bit like you know you'll, you'll see in this video and it only adheres to metal it doesn't adhere at all well to any kinds of plastics so it doesn't doesn't really make the bike glow and shine and equally i think adam said that the xcp probably does attract the dirt but the dirt is sitting on top of that protective protective layer so that gives you the sort of difference between ac acf 50 which i've had done and you'll see now and the xcp which all year biker also offer for the real hardened motorcyclists who either want to or have to ride their bike extensively throughout the winter and don't have time to clean it each time that they get the bike covered in salt. So let's take a look at what Adam did. We'll give you a little bit of a rundown of each of the individual stages as he does them, but hope you enjoy it. See you in a moment. Okay, so firstly, Adam rinsed the bike off. Now I know he's using a pressure washer for that, and indeed I use a pressure washer at home. The important thing that he notes is that you don't want to be firing the pressure directly and closely on your switch. So you can see he takes a, a gap at the back of the machine so that he's really only dust spraying from uh, around the handlebars and switch gear area. But it does show that you can use a pressure washer on a bike. I mean, at the end of the day, components on a bike are there to be waterproof, they are exposed to the rain. So providing you're not pressure blasting down the back of the exhaust or in the switch gear, you'll be fine. Next, Adam applies a degreaser. I'm led to believe that this degreaser is specially developed for all year biker because obviously they have returning customers with bikes that have been previously treated with XCP or ACF 50. So this degreaser cuts through that previous application and you can see here that Adam is applying it to the wheels, to the engine, and basically everywhere, and making a pretty good job of getting any grease residues off the bike. Next, and to make sure he got those tar spots, I must admit every time I've cleaned the bike, I have had the tar spots on the back of, particularly on the back of the exhaust, particularly around the wheel, and particularly on the swinging arm and the shaft casing. And uh, Adam here uses a tar remover, and as you can see from the shaft drive here it's very very effective indeed and i'm delighted that those have uh, those have been removed so so this was a great part of the process okay so this next bit is my favorite bit and probably most people's favorite bits and that's the application of the traffic film remover again it's a special traffic film remover developed for all your biker which removes all of the previous treatments that may be on the bike and as adam says the key to this is a thick foam which is achieved by basically making sure that the mixture is correct and the correct nozzle is applied. Now this footage is sped up as you can see but what the foam actually does is as it deteriorates on the bike it's actually the bubbles are actually agitating and removing a load of the dirt so after that it just relies on a very quick wash with the pressure washer and that part of the job is effectively done. Now I've got to say, I've got a Brule air dryer like this and it's probably one of the best things I've bought. You'll be surprised that even if you allow the bike to dry, just how much is held in the radiators, held in the fins on the top of the boxer engine and all of those types of things. So again, a professional uses it. I'm pleased to see that I've actually got one as well. The one point Adam does make here is this is probably the lowest ebb of the bike because you're taking away the shine of the water you're, you're blowing all of it away and you're left with dull grey panels and it's after that that we apply the ACF 50 and then buff it to a, to a really nice shine. Now here's the real reason that we came to see Adam and Audio Biker in the first place is to have the ACF 50 treatment. You'll see that Adam covers obviously the wheels, the tyres and the brakes separately. 
Uh, the seats have been removed because you don't want to be sliding around all over the seat. So basically the rest of the bike is then covered with a full cloth. And the reason I suppose for this is because as you'll see, Adam applies the ACF 50 with an HVLP, high volume, low pressure spray gun and applies much more than you could possibly apply with a buddy bottle or with just wiping it with a rag. And it does really get everywhere. And indeed it's supposed to. He sprays it under the seat on all of the electrics or across the switch gear, pretty much everywhere. But he does it by gradually exposing various parts of the bike. So he is controlled as to where he's actually putting it. Again, you'll see he doesn't put it on any of the colored paintwork because he said there absolutely is no choice, no, no point, I beg your pardon. After this, and then back on the little mobile workshop seat, Adam works his way around the bike with a ACF 50 impregnated microfiber cloth, spreading the ACF 50 around, because it doesn't need to be left pooling as it does directly out of the air gun. And that then just applies a very thin film to the whole of the motorcycle. And then a little bit of buffing with a, a cleaner cloth allows him to give the finish that he requires to the plastics and to those types of areas. Now equally, he also applies some to the outside of the calipers, but is obviously very, very cautious to keep it off the disc and to keep it away from any of the brake pads. So really, really good job. And then lastly, after a little bit of buffing of the paintwork with some polish and shining on that the bike looks absolutely superb and then of course we have the ceremonial starting of the bike and the burning off of the excess of the acf 50. looks pretty alarming but actually works pretty well And with that all done, just look how she is. She really does look like she's just come out of the showroom. I got a grant and I got to say, she was a pretty clean bike before she went in, but I reckon she's probably better now looking than she was when she came out of the dealership. And that's it folks. So thumbs up for Adam. And if you've liked this video, a thumbs up for me as well would be great as well. If you want to see more videos like this, be great if you could subscribe to the channel. So that's just a matter of pressing the subscribe button. And then if you want to be reminded when I do post something, hit the bell as well. And then any comments that you have would be superb. It is great to get feedback. It's given me some advice. I'm getting a Christmas present based on a few of the comments that I've had. So I'm learning just as much from you as I hope you're learning from me. We'll see you next time. And thanks very much for watching.